All right, welcome to part two of our bridge quiz. Part two, what we're going to be doing is setting up a current question index variable and basically displaying the questions as well as pictures for our questions. So you guys should have six questions, the first one we did together, as well as six answers. Uh, so what we need to do next is go to built-in definition and let's add a variable this variable is going to be current question index and we're going to go to built in and math and grab the number block and let's set that at one once we have that set up let's go to uh, my blocks in screen one and get the one that says when screen one is initialized do this so we want to set the question label dot text so let's go to question label set question label dot text to and we want it to select a list item so under built-in and lists you want to get the one that says call select list item and the list that we want it to choose from is our one that we've already set up it'll be our question list so under my blocks and my definitions you want to select the one that says global question list and let's take this block and do control C control V and it'll start with number one so when the screen when screen one initializes it's gonna set the question label to the first question in the question list Next, we need to set up our iteration. What that means is going through the questions in the list. So we're going to start out by going to My Blocks and the Next button. And we want to set it up so that when we click the Next button, it'll do this. First thing we want it to do is go to the current question index. So we need to find that current question index. So under my blocks, my definitions, you want to go where it says set global current question index. And we're going to go to built in and math here, get the plus sign. We want it to go to the next question. So we're going to go to my blocks, my definitions. And you want to find the one that says global current question index and we're going to add one to it that way it'll go to the next question in the index alright next thing we need to do is set the question label so let's go to question label and find the one that says set question label text to and we're going to get a list so let's go to built-in lists and find the one that says call select list item so when we click the next button we're going to set the question label dot text and it's going to select a list item and that's going to be from our question list so we can go to built-in my definitions question list and we're going to set the index to global current question index so under my blocks my definitions global current question index and then we need to go to built in and controls and we're going to use an if test then do statement up at the top here and this is for the length of our list basically we need to have it so it, as we're clicking the next button it'll keep going in the quiz through the questions so you want to set up the equal sign so let's go to built-in math and grab that and you want to go back to my blocks and go to the my definitions part select global current question index so when this is equal to and we're going to do built-in and under lists 
where it says length call length of list and the length of the list is the question list so my blocks my definitions global question list so you want the current question index to equal the length of the list for the question list that's letting it know the amount of questions so whether you have two questions or six questions the current question index will always equal that and that tells this the number of items okay alright so when that occurs then we want it to do this so it's gonna set the global question index so set global current question index and let's put the number at zero alright once we have that we've got to add one more thing under the next button uh, but before we do that we need to set up our picture list alright so we are going to create another variable so built-in definitions and this variable is going to be called picture list and we're going to go to built-in and go to lists and it's going to we're going to select the one that says call make a list and then our item is going to be text here and basically you need to stop right here and get pictures for each of your questions okay so what you want to do is you want to go log into Moodle if you haven't already and go down to the integrated project number four bridges and structures and do a list of longest bridges and you can use these pictures here so you'll right click on them save image as and you're going to be saving these in your Google App Inventor folder alright and I've already started doing this so you're gonna to go to the 506 go to your period go to your folder and you're going to go to the app inventor folder and make a folder called bridge quiz you can do that by clicking on the create new folder icon and what I've done is I've named these one two three and four and they're all JPEGs and then I also have one that's a PNG we just can't see it because I'm saving these as JPEGs and the reason we're naming them 1, 2, 3, and 4 is because on this list you have to spell specifically what the file name is called so if it's called 1.jpg you need to put 1 period jpg and for some JPEGs it's spelled jpeg so you have to look in the folder okay um, and then once you have those you need to go to your main page here and under media here you need to click add and you're going to add each one of these okay so I've got five currently I need one more um, and I'm actually going to use one picture for two of them but what you need to do in the list is you need to type those out in the list so just go to built-in text and then just continue to name them and what I would do is just rename them one two three four five and six that way it works for each of them um, so I'm gonna pause the video and continue doing that okay so once you've uploaded all six of those um, your list for the picture list should look something like this and if you notice right here on my fifth one it's not a JPEG it's a PNG file so I had to put 5.png to put that and make that come up okay and we're gonna get it so that you guys will have them all visible now the last thing we need to do is under our next button here we've gotta add um, we've got to make our picture show up when we click the next button so we're gonna to go to my blocks and we're gonna to go to image one here 
and we're going to set the image one picture to and we're going to go to built-in list and it's going to be select list item and that list will be our picture list so under my blocks my definitions you will see global picture list and under index you're going to select global current question index alright so once you have that why don't you connect to your emulator and you may have to refresh here maybe not so when I click next as I go through these you can see that my pictures are coming up this one isn't um, because I actually have only uploaded five pictures instead of six um, I never uploaded my sixth picture so as you go through this and you click next you should see that your pictures are coming up and if you've done that uh, you can go ahead and get my attention and I will give you credit for this part of the video. Thank you.